people, 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 people. Que pasa, suck, pasa, what they do. Now, the first thing that is popping in the news is an update as it pertains to the slap away of St. Andrew businessman. We are speaking about a person whose name is Roger Chang. Now, based on the information, it is said that five persons have been officially charged for the slap away of the businessman. We are talking about that same person. And it is said that they are charged by the investigators attached to the criminal investigative branch. And two of those accused have been identified and they are 23-year-old. We are speaking about Kadisha McKenzie and she is said to be a dancer from Kingston and St. Andrew. And also Siebert Dugan and he is said to be 60-year-old and he is a mechanic. The report also stated that they are charged for slap away, conspiracy to slap away, and also robbery with aggravation. And it is also said that three juveniles are also charged and their ages range from 15, 16, and 17. Now, people, there are contradicting stories. Some people say 1, 15, and 2, 16. However, other reports have said that it is a 15-year-old, a 16-year-old, and a 17-year-old. They are also officially charged. The report also stated that he was robbed of cash and they basically used his bank card and withdraw one hundred thousand dollar we are talking about one hundred thousand jamaican dollar the report also stated that the investigators accused miss kadisha mckenzie of lord mr chang to the location where he was held up at gun point by our boyfriend so people we are talking about a serious conspiracy the report also stated that the boyfriend of Kadisha McKenzie is now a person of interest and he is asked by the Popo to be a skeleton in himself. May I talk about a person whose name is Kevin Heard. So people, I hope he hear what I say, him better heard me. So anyways, people, let me analyze the whole situation. Now, people, when I first heard about this case, me said something fishy. There is something into something. The fact that a businessman we are talking about a nerd would basically leave and go up on some rendezvous with a little young girl. We are talking about a person that was a person of interest then. And now we get to realize that there are five persons in this conspiracy. So, people, the point is that some big time conspiracy are going on. And when we also look at the fact that at least three juveniles were basically charged in a some serious thing. So people were talking about from 15 to 17. We are talking about 15, 16 and 17. Or 15, 16 and 16. We are talking about some young youth. So people, it only speaks volume with the situation or the condition as it pertains to C-R-I-M-E. And slap away in a Jamaica. These little young youth, them don't want to work. Them want free money and people like them say, if you don't want work you are going to get work and anything that comes easy it also goes easy may i talk about your life and your freedom now this only shows you how stupid days and confused these new millennial criminals are and even though we are talking about some teens or some youngins we are talking about a set of persons we are speaking about five persons that are involved in this conspiracy we are talking about a 23 year old and we are also speaking about a 60 year old now we have to ask the question, what is a big man? We are speaking about a person that is supposed to be in his retirement age. We are talking about a 60-year-old mechanic. What is he doing being entangled with some sort of serious thing like this with some teenager and a little young girl? People, we are speaking about money is always a motive. We are speaking about money is the root of all evil. And we are speaking about money cause a lot of persons to be slapped away because so many persons are licky licky. Now, the reason why I say that they are dazed and confused and stupid is the fact that everybody knew that this man left with this young girl. We are speaking about Kadisha. Everybody knew that they were on their way to Portland. However, it was cut short because him basically get slapped away. And also the fact that they use his credit card. We are talking about his bank card. We are talking about him ATM card. Then basically withdraw $100,000. We are talking about Jamaican dollar based on the Popo report. So didn't they realize that this also left 
paper trail. Didn't they realize when them show up at the ATM machine, it was always going to take pictures and video. We are talking about CCTV. We are talking about camera, lele, blue, blah, bling. So my point is this, what is the sense? Why be pennywise and pound foolish? Why be a scally risk a life and freedom for be a scally $100,000 a cell phone and probably we are talking about a laptop that is going to be shared between five people. So people, we are talking about less than 200 US dollar per person people that makes absolutely no sense so therefore them gain a little money so therefore it only shows how desperate and licky licky and stupid people is we are talk about some people we call nana them nana head them nana sense and even worse they don't have any conscience because they thought that it was a bright idea for basically slap with somebody for a little pocket change we are talk about some petty cash people we are talk about dumb dumber and dumber and the dumara s point blank and period now when we also think about the fact that this man we are talking about a decent upstanding person in a society may i talk about mr roger chang he left his house with a scripper we are talking about he is 60 or 62 and he left his house with a 23 year old lady we are talking about a dancer we are talking about a scripper we are talking about a back road employee and people when you listen to our name like it said before we are talking about dd or diamond d now people from you hear them name that you don't have to ask any question so people, my point is this, don't entangle in a dirty bungle. And whenever you lie with dogs, you are always going to catch flea and people. I am not saying it's based on the difference in their class. Mena said it's because she is supposed to be a girl that is broke. And he is an uptown person. Rete, lele, blue, blah, bling. Me just say stay in your lane. Stay with person that you are compatible with. Because the truth and the facts that you cannot study these little young girls that are always on social media scamming and crafting people and based on the information and based on the facts of this case, this is definitely what this lady is. We are talking about Miss Mackenzie. People, the point and the moral of the story is this evil things comes in pretty pockets so therefore you can't watch no face you can't watch no ass you can't watch no tiny waist because people you will end up six foot six we are talking about down a dove cut we are talking about in a little board box we are talking about down a modern point blank and period and when we also think about the fact based on the popo information, they are accusing this lady for basically lower the man in. So people, we are talking about a pretty girl who is a mastermind. We are speaking about a master manipulator. We are talking about somebody that is always going to use her beauty for basically get over people, for craft people. And um, people, we saw that this man, we are talking about a businessman in basically fall in the trap. So the point that I am trying to make is that make this be a warning to only look like uptown nerd out there. May I talk about some old man with the pan Viagra. Don't watch these pretty girls. Don't watch a pretty face. Don't watch a fat ASS because it is all a trap for the most case scenario. Point blank and period. And when we also think about the fact that three little juveniles also involved. We are talking about from 15 to 17 or 15 to 16 times two people where them parents there where is their guardian who is in charge where the mama and where the papa there where the people them that are supposed to be out there taking care of these little picnic because people here again yet again we see some other little picnic fall in a some sort of trap and when we talk about some serious allegations, when we talk about some serious C-H-A-R-G-E-S, we are talking about slapper people, they are going to be gone for a very, very long time based on the evidence or based on what they have been accused of, point blank and period. So anyways, people, like I've said before in the first report that I did or the first video that I did when this news broke, there is something into something, something sound fishy. When we hear about a stripper and an upstanding person in a society, they are not compatible. And people like Sesame Street used to say, one of these things don't belong together. One of these things are not the same. And people will see exactly what happened. It ended up in the worst case scenario, point blank and period. 
So people yet again, we see that we have to give credit where credit is due. We see that the JCF, we see that the investigators, we see that the detectives in this case, they are working hard on people, the truth and the facts that since late 2019, the popo has been doing a splendid job. So the good news in all of this is that we see that the wheels of justice can finally start to turn. And we see that this man and his family and his friends can finally get some sort of justice. Because people, the truth and the facts that whether he is an uptown man or a downtown man, all lives matter. And when you take away persons like this in a society, people that are contributing, it is only going to lead to the detriment of Jamaica. We are talking about its economy. We are talking about persons getting job rated, lele, blue, blah, bling. Um, people don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. I am not trying to say that the life of a rich man or the life of this man is more important than the life of a poor man. However, we see in cases like this, we see that they put in extra effort. We see that they put in extra resources and um, people will see the result. So the point that I am trying to make is that we want to see the popo. We want to see the investigators put in this sort of effort in every case. We are talking about rich man or poor man point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up